how they did. You know, I think, uh, you know, the guys, the guys that were running with the ones, I thought did a pretty decent job. You know, uh, we got a lot of guys that are, some are dinged up, so we got some certain young guys in there that that are, are learning the defense and trying to get a hold of itself with the, with the, with the twos and threes. But, but I thought the ones did a pretty good job. I thought they tackled pretty decent. You know, I think, uh, you know, there's some stuff. Obviously, we got to we got to clean up. We got to win some one-on-ones. I think we made some good throws and catches. I, mean, I, I think our quarterback position is performing at a very high level, and, and uh, putting the ball in, in very tough spots to defend, which is good for us. Um, but you know, I think as we continue to progress this spring, uh, our guys are getting more and more comfortable within the system. And like each week, we've added a little bit more. And, and uh, you know, obviously, you got you can't fall back on what you did last Saturday. You got to keep getting better. And I think we got better today than we did it when we were on Saturday. So. Uh, we're, we're, keep, we're getting better and better, so that's what I'd like to see. How, how much Illinois film do you have your guys watch? Not anymore. Not much anymore. You know, I think uh, if we're installing something, there's just to show them some examples of stuff. We'll, we'll show it, but you know, I think we were able to to do some stuff uh, throughout the spring and. And, and even as we've progressed throughout the course of the winter, we're now like drills and everything else. I'd like to, we had it filmed and, and I like to have them look at themselves, you know? So um, I think that's kind of been a blessing for us and how we went this off season with Coach Rowe and, and how we introduced uh, some, some concepts to our guys and uh, through the training program. And so now it's like more and more less of the orange and blue and now it's all, you know, old gold and black. So let's get this going. Can you talk a little bit about what, just what Coach Rowe's done yeah, he's he's awesome. He's uh, he has a unique way of communicating with the guys. You know, he's he's a guy where he's he's done it. You know, he played in the NFL. He's played in college. He's gone through junior colleges. He's had his journey, so he can he can relate with a lot of the guys on our team. And you know, the system, the tree that he comes from. You know, I was I was part of that when I at Wisconsin with Ben Herbert, and I just know how the players and everybody responds to guys like him and. You know, even the last place I was at, it was part of that same tree. And, and, and this generation of guys, they want to know why you're doing certain things. And he breaks it down brick by brick. Like this is, your, your hips are, are, are not strong enough. We got these machines just for your hips so you can not have groins or we cannot have this, you know. So, so guys understand like, oh, wow, this is why we're doing this. And, and breaks it down like that. And, and uh, you know, I think the guys understand why and, and because of that, you've seen different licks and bodies. You know, guys have put on weight, guys have lost weight. You know, the guys are doing things the right way, and and he puts a lot of a lot of ownership on them, which I think is a good thing too. Have you seen anyone that's kind of taken advantage of that most? You know, Jamari Brown's been on 20 some pounds since we've been here. You know, uh, you know, coming in and, and seeing his body change. You know, that for, for for like just eight weeks of training, just buying into what you're doing. Boom, there it is. You know, and there, there's countless other examples of those guys doing putting in the work and doing it. And, and I, and I have not heard one person say, you know, like, gosh, I don't like this guy, you know. And, and as a strength coach, you know, you kind of want some of those cats, you know. Like, you know, you know I'm, I'm here to make you better. I'm not your friend. You know, I'm, I'm your coach. And, like, I know my guy when I was playing, Chris Dawson, loved him to death. I hated that guy when I was playing. But you know what? Respect the hell out of him. So, uh, but there's a lot of stories for this guy that's offseason. Just from our nutrition standpoint, you know, you know, Ellen Rice and those gals and her, that she has going with her and Lauren Link and all them and, and – uh, and to combined with our training staff, kind of everybody new coming in, working together has been pretty cool to see. How, how good can Corday Sidner be? I think he's got a chance to be pretty dang good. You know, he's got length, he's got size, he's got a motor, he has a he has a, 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 the mental ability, and he's got a, and he's got a, a passion for the game. You know, I think he's been out here now for about a week, so seeing him perform and, and, and actually go through some stuff because you know he he did some stuff in the winter time, but you didn't really know exactly what he could do. And now being out here for a week, knock on wood, staying healthy, I feel really good about where he's going to be in this package. Anything about Yanni Karloftis and how you're going to use him? And how, how would you assess him thus far through seven practices? You know, Yanni's awesome. Uh, he, he provides a different different skill set. You know, he's, he's the one guy that, you know, coming in here that had played on the edge and had been a linebacker. So he kind of has a, a, a one-up on a lot of guys because he's got some pass rush ability, but he's also been in, in, the, in the box as a linebacker. So he understands, like, that part of the game as well. And... So we're utilizing him in certain packages at certain in spots and, and using his skill set for, for, for what, we, what I think he does best for what we can do best. Well, O.C. talked about coming in here as a transfer from Auburn and sitting and kind of learning. Last year got a chance to play a little bit. How much has he taken off since you've gotten here? You no, know, he's done a great job. You know, he's got to work on certain things, you know, uh, you know but he has, he has athletic ability. You know, he has a, a, a knack for the ball, a sense for, like, where that ball is going to go. And, and now we're just working on certain things, you know, where he can get off blocks or, or whether it's get, or his feet, his footwork on, on contact. Like we're working on the little details of, 
Uh, which, which is great about this defense is, is it allows us to focus on those fundamentals rather than, this, than all the scheme all the time, you know, and and uh, you can see each practice he's trying to take something off the film from that standpoint. So, you know, he's got great athleticism. He can run. He can do a lot of things. He's got some physicality about him. And, and uh, you know, I think he, like this defense is going to allow him to kind of run and, and play, be that sideline to sideline guy and, and showcase what he can do. I've heard a lot of guys talk about that, just letting them play fast and be athletic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you're defined into a certain – you know, this is what you do on this play. I think sometimes, you know, that gets in your head a little bit. Right. How much can you see the guys just enjoy the, maybe the freedom they have a little bit more? You know, I, it's, I think it's great. You know, I think everything's – not everything's going to be black and white. There's going to be certain things that's a little gray in football, you know, and I think the more our guys buy into, all right, they, they understand what their job is, and then you teach them, all right, this is what you can't do, right? This is where you can't get beat, right? And now that, once they start understanding that aspect of things, all right, well, okay, now you got something going on, right? And and, you know, this is something I learned from, from a guy I greatly admire. It's, you know, good plays are the results of good fundamentals. Bad plays are the results of bad fundamentals. So that allows us to then focus on the fundamental part of things, right? So like, we spend a lot more time on Indy and, and just doing the footwork, the alignments. All those things matter because it ties into what we do. You know, like you know, you, we, we tell this guy to line up here because this is what's going to happen but with, with what you're seeing from the offense. So you have to do that every time. And, and, and slowly but surely, every day, you're seeing that consistency happen with our guys. Thanks, Coach. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys.